Now, the kind of values that can be represented and manipulated in a programming language are known as data types. And one of the most fundamental characteristics of a programming language is the set of types it supports. Data types like strings, numbers, characters, etc. Types in JavaScript may be divided into two categories, primitive types and object types. Primitive types include numbers, strings of text, and Boolean types representing true or false values. Apart from primitive data types, everything else in JavaScript is an object in some way. Even functions in JavaScript can be considered to be objects. Well, there is very thin line between them, but we will talk more about objects and functions later. Null is also an object type, but it is a special one in the sense that it represents no object. There is a special value in JavaScript, undefined, which is neither an object or function or any of the primitive data types. An undefined value is of its own type, undefined, representing absence of a value. That is, we cannot talk about the type of that data as it is not even defined. All right. Let's see some examples. Let's declare a variable x without assigning any value to it. Now, variable declaration itself is an expression which evaluates to undefined. In Ripple style, the console prints out the value of the expression each time we hit enter. So this undefined is the value of the expression evaluated by JavaScript. For example, if we just type 5 and hit enter, although we have not printed anything, the JavaScript console reads the expression entered, evaluates it, which is just 5, and prints it out. Now, if we print the value of x, we see that it prints undefined which means that x has not been assigned any value as of now. So undefined represents absence of any value. Now let's declare another variable named y and assign null to it. As you can see, this variable declaration expression itself evaluates to undefined, which is what is printed here. If we print the value of y, it shows null. So this does not indicate an absence of value, rather it indicates that it does not point to a valid object. All right. And that's the difference between null and undefined. If we just type Y, the console prints its value, ripple style. JavaScript has a type of operator, which tells us what type is a value. So type of X shows that X is of type undefined. And as said earlier, undefined is its own type. Type of y shows it's an object because its value is null. Well, that may be a little confusing in the beginning and it needs a little getting used to. Okay. Let's create another variable z and assign a value of 5 to it. If we use the type of operator on z, we see that its type is a number. Let's write another statement. Z is equal to the hello string. Now, if we use the type of operator on the variable Z, we see that its type is string now. So as you can see that the type of a variable may change in JavaScript, which may seem a little strange for those who are coming from Java kind of background, which happens to be a statically typed language. And this kind of thing is not even allowed there. So what kind of language is JavaScript? Let's see that next.